I want to welcome you to the Canada Agriculture Museum. My name is Anne and today we'll be making Butter Together. We're going to do it though the modern way, so we're going to be cheating a bit. What I've done is I filled this plastic container halfway up with some whipping cream, so 35% whipping cream. And the only thing we need to do is shake it for about 5-10 minutes and we will have butter and buttermilk. Uh, in that, and I'll explain to you how pioneers used to make butter in the olden days. This is what I would use to make my butter, and I needed a lid on top, and then you would shake the cream up and down like this, and it used to be kids that used to make the butter, or women, uh, the women in the family. But because it's made out of wood, it's hard to clean. Sometimes some of the cream would stay inside and there could be germs. So afterwards, what they decided to do is they created butter churns that were made out of ceramic or out of glass. And this one is much bigger than this one because families back then had lots of kids in them. I'm thinking my grandfather, they had 17 kids in their household. So they had to make a lot of butter. So the other model we have here on display for you guys is one that's made out of What's this one made out of? Just a glass. A glass. Oh, glass. Is glass easy to clean? A clean. It's easier to clean than wood. You can see if there's anything staying inside. And this one, when I turn the handle, you see the pedal moving in the center. So if that's what would be moving my cream around to make butter. It's called a butter mold. So it's in the shape of what shape is this? Rectangle. A rectangle. Just like when you buy butter at the store, it comes in a rectangle shape. So after the butter was made in their butter churn, they used to place it in a bowl like this. And with this big, these big spoons, they used to press on the butter to get all the buttermilk out to help preserve it. Because were there refrigerators around in older times? Rich? No. No. Because no. there was no, no electricity. So they had sometimes root cellars that was cold underneath the ground. But to help conserve the butter, they pressed it, got all the buttermilk out, and they would add salt at this point. And they would work it into the butter. And afterwards, they would use their butter mold. So if you lift the handle here, it moves the bottom part of my butter mold and it creates a perfect space to make one pound of butter. So they used to press all the butter inside, and then once they were done, they'd press back down on the handle, and their perfect pound of butter would come out. Today they have electric machines instead that do all the work. This one is a bit different. This is what we call a butter stamp. So there's a picture on the bottom of my butter stamp, just like today, when you go to the grocery store, if you buy butter, there's going to be a name brand on it, uh, either Nielsen's or Beatrice. So in the past, farmers, when they used to sell the extra butter on the market, they would put a picture on it or a name that would identify where the butter came from. So people could come back to the same farm week after week. To buy like this, this shake? constant shaking, and then we'll have butter in five to ten minutes, and you'll get to taste it on a cracker. Ready? And then I'm going to use my wooden paddles over here and I'll pick up all the butter. Like this. Huh? But we want to make certain all that buttermilk is out. There we go. In the past, buttermilk they could use for cooking. So you could make waffles or pancakes or muffins. And you still can. Or often they used to give it to the pigs because it is nutritious instead of wasting it. Or the butter water. Yes. The water. There we go. So I'm working my butter and then we're going to place them on a cracker. And now we can taste our final product, our butter, on a nice cracker. And there we go.